Hey there, welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have this time is an interesting little petty or almost a paring knife kind of style. This is the Masakage Mizu series. This is their petty 75 millimeter knife. So uh, the construction on this, it's an all reactive blade, but it's got um, a center hard cutting edge steel of Algami Blue Paper Number no. 2, reactive high carbon steel. Heat treats around 62, about 63 Rockwell on that. The uh, cladding on either side for that three layer composition is a soft uh, iron cladding that is reactive as well. And then you've got a kind of a protective bluish Kudauchi or KU finish on it. And the Mizu means like water or deep water. So this is kind of a deep bluish kind of black finish to it. And this does have a, looks like a lacquer finish on top of that for protection, food safe lacquer. The, um, obviously the knife is, this particular one is quite small. So the weight and dimensions of these and thickness will vary just a little bit from knife to knife. But this particular one is, as you might guess, quite light, 51 grams or 1.8 ounces. Edge length was right about 75 millimeters or about three inches. Overall length was about 8.2 inches. And then uh, coming out of the handle, I measured about 2.9 millimeters. And obviously it thins out pretty quick to, I got about 1.8. Uh, it's not a very long blade, so you don't really have much of a taper, but you do have a taper with the grind to the tip. And here's what the edge profile looks like. I should say the choil profile. There's the edge profile. Blade height, as you might guess, is not very tall. It's about 26.7 millimeters at the heel. And the handle is their oval cherry with a uh, resin or plastic ferrule that's marbled each one's a little bit different um, you always have it's like a sleeve that fits over so you always have a little bit of a step right here between the wood and the ferrule that's normal and just part of this style of handle but it looks like a pretty tight uh, glue up on the handle um, circumference is about 65 millimeters or two and a half where the two materials meet right where this wood starts and Balance point is, of course, going to be back pretty far on this, so it's right about there. Uh, let's see, as pretty much all Masakage knives, just about all of them I've handled, you've got a really well-crafted edge on this. It's a good, solid, maybe 7 out of 10 on my scale. I don't know why I put a 6 down. It's really, really sharp, really well-crafted, <laughs> easy for me to say, well-crafted edge, nice polish on it, consistent bevel, very, very sharp. Um, I guess I'm going to do this one this way because it's, we can get a good beauty shot here. So if you look on the left side of the blade, which is what I'm showing you as you would hold the knife using it, you can see you do have some hand engraved or chiseled kanji on that side. You've got your kind of sandblasted kasumi finish and then there's your core steel coming out through the cladding and then the shiny edge bevel itself, the cutting edge. Uh, nice fit and finish on these, a little bit of rustic character, but well, uh, very well crafted, just a little bit of, uh, you know, blacksmith character to them, and uh, they've relieved the corners of the spine a little bit, they've done a nice job of rounding off the edges of the choil into the neck, so it's really comfortable. Um, obviously the ergonomics on these are going to be quite a bit different than a standard kind of western paring knife, so there's a lot of ways you can hold these, you can do this, you can put your finger here. Uh, you can pinch it if you want. You can get your finger way up near the tip if you're doing some kind of tip work with it. So, you know, there's a lot of ways to do this. The handle, and in a lot of ways, you're going to probably be doing, you know, a lot of holding of the blade itself. So the handle will kind of disappear in your hand a little bit back behind that. But so it's, it's just a different feel than a Western style where the handle is typically a little smaller, a little shorter. Um, so, but. Uh, just some awesome steel, some really cool handcrafted construction, um, you know, neat package. So depending on how you want to handle these and what you want to do with it. So just a really neat knife. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the cutting board demo because <laughs> you're really not going to use it that way. Although you could if you wanted to. Uh, let's see. I don't know. One side good for the engraved Kanji, the other side's good for the reflection, so we'll go with that side. So, a uh, really cool little knife. This is the Masakage Mizu Petty 75mm.